All right. So, hi, my name is Julio Jimenez. Um, I've been with Santa Ana College um, um, with our Active Adults program since January of 2020, right before everything happened. And um, so we've been online since, I believe, April of 2020. And our program has grown. We've had more classes. We've had more people um, enroll and show up. We've had some consistent um, students like Sharice, who's here. Josefina has probably been with me since early 2021 or late 2020. And as far as, you know, these classes, um, as you guys know, a lot of it's going to be done through Canvas uh, moving forward. Um, and with that being said, um, I know some of you guys had a challenging time um, logging into Canvas, and that's something that we're trying to work on. Um, we're trying to give you guys resources. Uh, me personally, I can't navigate through your computer and try to figure out what's wrong. So that's why we have our tech support. So if you're one of those individuals, um, we do want to make sure that um, you navigate to Canvas eventually. Carmen, you had a question? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. I was able to get into Canvas, but then I was confused about, uh, I'm in Zoom now, but okay. I was in Canvas. I had access after the whole weekend fighting with the computer. Right, right. And, but the, what I was not sure was what, how to get the pronto access. Uh, oh, the to portal access? The video. Do I, I didn't know how did it work? Okay. With the, this visual part. Right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you guys. Um, so you're talking about Zoom. How do you log into Zoom? No, no, no. Zoom, I'm fine. Okay. I'm talking about Canvas. I when I was reading the instructions, mm -hmm. it's talking about uh, Pronto, a website that oh, allows us to the the portal, maybe. Hmm? The you mean the portal? Pronto, Pronto okay. is the name oh, yeah. of the yeah. website. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a Canvas portal. It, it's just pretty much what we use to log in, and when it opens up, that's considered the portal. So you have a lot of. And portals it's already you. there. Right. It's yeah. Already, so it's, yeah, if oh, you're in okay. Canvas, yeah, you're doing that. Um, you might have access to your different portal where you could um, reach more information from your student account. But as far as for what we need for this class, we just need Canvas. Um, and all the information, I'll go over it shortly, um, will be as simple as possible. When we're done using a material that we don't need to talk about anymore or something, I'll try to remove it so it doesn't make things so uh, confusing. Um, so you're not overwhelmed with all these tabs and things like that. Um, but yeah, so I know, like like I was mentioning, some of you guys are having trouble with support, um, but hopefully that's something you can get figured out um, sooner than later. Uh, unfortunately, today I have a meeting at 11, so today's class will be more of a summary of what Canvas is, and then we'll do a short little workout. Um, and I'm pretty excited to share what we have in Canvas. Debbie, how are you? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Um, Melinda, hello. Um, but yeah, so um, let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen if that's okay. So you guys could kind of see of what, you know, what kind of to expect on Canvas on a weekly basis and then almost on a consistent basis again. So let me just um, share my screen a little bit more and I'll make my face huge for you guys. So, all right, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. And what you guys are seeing right now at the moment, it's probably going to be my screen as the instructor. So let me change that to student view. So this is going to be typically what you're going to see when you log into Canvas. OK, so we got our little workout cartoon in there. So every week, um, you know, these classes meeting live through Zoom, it's only going to be once a week. So our class for this on total body workout, it's gonna be um, Mondays at 10 a.m., okay? And then our, if you're enrolled in my Wednesday class, which is mobility and flexibility, our live Zoom class is going to be at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, okay? So always 10 a.m. Um, I know these meetings that I have like today on the, at 11 o'clock, um, it's super inconvenient that it's on the first day of class, but I think what I'm gonna do uh, moving forward so it doesn't interfere, um, these meetings I have, it's the last Monday of every month. So I'll remind you guys, but um, when that day comes again once a month, um, we might move uh, our class to 9 a.m. 
so we could accommodate the full time. So, you know, that class isn't just one hour. Okay. So, uh, and I'll remind you guys. So again, um, right now, this is, you know, the front page. So if you get through Canvas, you get your username in, your password, there's no issues, no more headaches. Um, the, the Zoom link for Canvas, I mean, for our Zoom class is going to be right here, okay? So if you made it this far and you clicked here, you should be in our Zoom group right now, okay? So, and then right now, this is week one. And I'll remind you guys what module we're in. So you could just think about week one, module one. So right now, we're going to go to module one. We're going to click here. Module one. Okay. All right. And you guys are going to see, you know, this huge tab here of resources that we have. If that seems like too much for you, it gets overwhelming. You could just collapse it all. Okay. And then right here, we're going to go to intro to body workout. But before we collapse it all, just want to show you what Canvas has to offer. So again, uh, if, you know, maybe some information that I'm not giving you isn't getting the help that you need, um, here's some technical support. You could just go on these links. Um, and like I said, we're just using Canvas. We're not really diving too much into this. And then here's other resources that Santa Ana has to offer. So do you guys want to go to the library or other type of resources? There's plenty there for you. I'm just going to collapse it so it looks a little bit easier to read. So this week, um, yeah, it's our intro week. So we're just going to do intro to body workout. It's a little warm in here. I'm going to open my door real quick. So I was just in Mammoth for a week, and the weather up there was between 45 and 70. So I'm not used to this weather at the moment. It's just getting used to it. So we're going to go, um, and again, we're just going to go over this. Um, you know, we'll probably do this like a 10 to 15 minute recap of Canvas every week. And this is our, our time right now. So I'm going to go to intro to total body workout. Okay. And then you'll see, we'll, we're going to have some goals. And some of the goals, you know, they are going to be consistent. This isn't like your typical class where, you know, we're on one week, we're just going to work on, on our, maybe on our feet. And then week two, working on calves. And week three, working on on thighs okay no we're trying to hit as many body um muscle groups as we can so we could develop in a healthy way so the way um you know canvas is going to be incorporated there's probably going to be different um topics that we'll share you know maybe if someone and you guys please um feel free to um request any um topics that you have questions about it could be about diabetes it could be about high cholesterol it could be about you know, why is coconut water so good for you? It could be anything. And I'll try to find as much um, information as I can on whatever topic it is related to the field of health and fitness. And I'll incorporate that into Canvas. So anything that you guys want, um, we can make it as easy as possible. Um, you know, otherwise I'll probably just go out on a run and whatever comes to my mind um, that's related to health and fitness, I'll try to incorporate a little bit more um, to make sure that it benefits you guys. Okay, so as far as, you know, our learning out outcomes for this week, we're just going to understand how Canvas works and what the typical week here is going to look like. Um, I'm going to give you guys a workout today. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, we're also going to work on using a fitness tracker or how to log that in, okay? So, and then also here, when you guys have time, you guys should watch this video. I believe it's about 15 minutes long. Um, so, yeah, so you watch that and... It's all embedded into Canvas. So once you click on there, you should be able to watch it from here. It's not going to take you to a YouTube page or open more windows. Um, we're just trying to make this as easy as possible. So questions about this so far? Is it going to be the same Zoom link the whole semester? The same what? Zoom link? No, 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 no. So that's something that we're trying to avoid because uh, you know, once well, we are trying to go through Canvas each time, so I'm just going to update that Zoom link um, every time. Otherwise, we might have some folks that um, never log into Canvas. And, and the idea of, you know, moving forward is to kind of introduce everyone through Canvas. So, yeah, so that Zoom link will get updated um, every week. So I know it's a little annoying from, from past classes, but um, but again, we're trying to incorporate more information to you guys through Canvas. Um, and this is kind of like the best way to go about it. So, 
All right. Any other questions regarding our first page? So it will change every single week. Right. Yeah. So I'll change it. So when we go to our home page, we'll be there. This hyperlink here, um, you know, next week it's going to be what's next week on Monday? It's the 29th. So next week, I'll say Zoom link for 829 class, and you'll click there, and it'll take you to uh, Monday's class for next week. So, yeah, I'll do that on the background. So, um, so yeah, so the email that you got with the Zoom link, um, hopefully, if you have access to Canvas, um, you should just go here and, and click on that link, and you should be able to join. So, Leah, you had a question? Yeah, so you're recording them. Are you going to post just in case we have to miss a class or something? Are you going to post the recordings? Yes. And Thank you. Where, where will they be? Great question. So what I'm thinking too to do so it's easy for you guys. Um, as soon as this class is over, then obviously um, this link is not going to be um, worthwhile for us anymore. So I'll embed the video on here. Okay, so it's going to be on the front page. That makes it easy for you guys. Thank you. Yep. Will, the, will the video um, recordings, how long will they stay up there? For um, the whole semester or? Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel too. So oh. what I'm going to do is I'll leave the video recording here uh, maybe for two weeks. Okay. And then I'll just have like, you know, last week's video um, in case you miss it. And in case you like completely miss it, um, you know, and just never get to it, then I'll try to have it on my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you. Of course. All right, All right. thanks, Leah. Leah's um, requesting some videos already or topics we could work on. So any questions about this? I know it's a lot of new information. So, and then, so next, what we're gonna move on to is our fitness tracking. Um, and I'm pretty excited about this one. So, okay, and everything's embedded onto Canvas. So again, you don't have to open new pages. You don't have to do, um, you know, navigating through a bunch of links. Everything's gonna be through here. So, so this is gonna be our, kind of like our, I guess, our off live, kind of like our homework, I guess, pretty much. So when we're not meeting live, um, you know, I do, some of you guys know already, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, I have clients on the side and some of these clients and some of you guys might have been clients before or might have been a personal trainer yourself. And, you know, when it comes to hitting your goals, um, you know, I have had some clients, unfortunately, that just because they think they have me as a as a personal trainer, they're they're paying an individual to tell them on what to work out, uh, motivate them and also maybe um, encourage them what to eat. Um, sometimes they think that by meeting me once a week, they're going to start dropping weight. Um, and that's not the case. You know, usually when I go there, I give them a good workout, kind of like what we're going to have here. But, um, I also try to encourage, you know, healthy eating, um, patterns or programs, um, you know, healthy lifestyles, um, that we could go about and then also encourage a lot of, um, physical and wellness activity outside of our, our, outside of our class time. So with that being said, you know, if you guys are here to get stronger, healthier, maybe faster because you're training for a half marathon or your first 5K, um, then just know that you probably have to do a little bit more than just coming to these live Zoom classes, okay? And what I'm going to do here with this fitness tracking is try to encourage you guys to, you know, um, share with each other and then also have a little, um, you know, I guess a little bit more... Uh, disciplined approach by having um, this discussion board on here and um, and I'll go over it right now. So again, so I'm just going to we'll read word for word. So here you can log in your fitness activity by taking the screenshot or uploading it and uploading it to your uh, from your fitness tracker. And I'm sure some of you guys have like the Nike Plus app on your phone. Some of you guys have Fitbits. Um, I have a Garmin watch, which is a GPS watch, and that's connected to my phone. There's also uh, another app called Strava that you could just download on your phone. Um, and it's, it's really nice to, to use. And there's a lot more. I think there's um, MyFitnessPal. Maybe some of you guys have any, some others. Leah, you had a question? 
Yeah, I just want to know, is are any of these free or do they all cost something? I believe all of these have a free version and there's always, you know, a premium version that has a lot more that could be too complicated to even bother paying for. Um, so I have the Garmin one, which is free. I have the Strava one, which is free. And I know some of my athletes that want to see more details about how how their CO2 levels are or their heart rate is or, you know, just have some social media connectivity um, to it. Um, now they're paying maybe like eight or ten dollars a month for that. But I don't need any of that. So I don't pay for it. I just have the free version. Um, and again, and I'm sorry. If you're doing one, I haven't used one like on my cell phone. If you download an app on your cell phone, do you just like wear it on your waist or how does it measure? So your, your GPS usually has to be on and based on your GPS movement, then it kind of tracks um, the distance. So, yeah, it's kind of neat. But so, does it have to be on you physically, like on your waist or in your pocket or something? So, or so to measure the distance, yes. Like if you want to measure like, uh, let's say, you know, you're in like downtown LA and you want to do a walk from Staples Center to USC. And of course, if you want to like measure that distance, the device would have to be with you. But if you don't care for that and you just need kind of like a timer, um, then, you know, this is what I'm about to show you guys this for. Um, on you to measure the steps right because it, it's it's not gonna account for you know if you stop at a red light for 10 minutes or if you sit at a bench okay. um you know it's gonna miss all those little things so you you can't really depend on a fitness tracker that's not on you to you know be elite, be 100 percent accurate you know so it's just one of those things but if you're just measuring how long you were out and about and trying to work out then um what i'm about to go through it um, should work out for you guys. And, and I'll do a little rundown right now. So again, the goal of this class is to improve overall strength and fitness. And again, this is only gonna happen if you guys are consistent. You know, like, like I mentioned, if you guys just work out on Mondays with me and don't do anything the rest of the week, um, sorry to tell you, but that might not be enough to reach your goals. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna say, um, you know, that you should drop this class if that's what you're considering. I think one day of activity, um would be great but um you know we do have two hours and when we do the two hours um you know if you're not fit enough maybe by 40 minutes or 45 minutes you might start getting a little bit tired um but if you're consistent if you're doing things outside of class then you know i think that an hour 20 an hour 30 we're not going to go the full two hours just working out hard 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 we're going to warm up we're going to cool down we're going to go over canvas um but you know um the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. I just, um, three weeks ago, you know, I, I've been, I ran cross country and track and field from 2002 to about 2016, pretty consistently, probably averaging about 50 to 70 miles per week. And then since 2017, I haven't ran much. And three weeks ago, I ran seven miles. Um, two weeks ago, I ran 20 miles. And then for some reason, you know, I take my team to Mammoth. And up there last week, I ran um, 38 miles at altitude at 8,000 feet of elevation. I felt it? like I was gonna die <laughs> every run. The instructor. I'm sorry. You had a question. Sorry. So um, so yeah. So um, you know, so I felt terrible because I haven't been consistent over the last few weeks or months. So the more you do it, the better you're going to feel. So um, that's why I ask you guys, um, you know, if you guys have some health and wellness goals, um, let's try to be a little bit more consistent or at least start incorporating that now. So um, a lot of the stuff or workouts that we typically do in here, um, you guys have noticed that we usually go, you know, we do an exercise for about 40 seconds, then we recover for 20 seconds. And then, you know, we kind of do that for the majority of the classes. We've done that for our cardio and core classes. We've done that for our cardio and core. I think sometimes our strength and conditioning classes. So this, um, this interval timer here would be something for that. So, you know, I'm going to leave this here. This is going to be embedded into your canvas. 
So for this one, um, you guys could see it's it would be phase one would be 40 seconds of active work. So that means that's the time that you're using to work out. And phase two would be that's the um, 20 seconds there. So that would be the time that you'd be recovering or resting. So, you know, let's just say, for example, um, you start this timer and we're going to I'm just going to put here five minutes or five rounds. OK, five rounds. Warm up is five seconds. And then so I'm going to hit start. And it's there's counting down my warm up. You can make that five minutes if you want. It doesn't have to be five seconds. Let's say right here, we're gonna do jumping jacks for 40 seconds. Okay, so you're doing jumping jacks, you're doing jumping jacks, and you're gonna keep on going until um phase one is complete. Phase one will um end, you're done with jumping jacks, then phase two starts, and you'll see that happening right now. We'll just wait. And let's say for our second interval. Instead of doing jumping jacks, we're gonna do phase one is about to end. We're still working now. We're doing jumping jacks. Uh, you're getting tired. You're like, oh man, why did I sign up for this class? This guy talks so much. I'm tired of him. And then now you're resting, okay? So then now you see, now you're catching your breath. You're resting. And this is a timer that I use almost all the time with my previous classes. So for some of you, this is repetitive doesn't seem new and then i'm like okay well, we're about to start um crunches right now okay so now it's time for crunches and now you go for crunches and you continue okay so that's kind of how this um timer works so again you guys could customize it instead of um 40 seconds active work maybe you're just starting and you want to go um 20 seconds okay so we would just reset it we hit that reset button That's the first time using this. But um, yeah, I think before you start, you could always change it. So you could change the duration of the rounds. Um, if you just want to work out for, you know, 20 minutes, you could put 20 rounds. If you want to do an hour, then you would put 60 rounds. But again, this would be at your own time. So again, and I'll get to it to what we're actually getting to. Now, for some of you guys that might not want to do a workout like that on your own, and you actually... Let's say um, Malena. Malena is like, okay, I want to go for a walk. Okay, I'm going to go for a, a walk. So Malena, uh, what she's going to do is she's going to, right as she's ready, she's ready to go. She doesn't have anything else to do before her walk. She's going to hit start, okay? And then she's going to walk away. She's going to leave her house. She's going to go out the front door. Maybe she's going to go around her block five or six times, okay? She's going to do that. And then let's say she comes back 25 minutes later, okay? The, this clock is still going to be active, okay? And what's neat about this is that you're also logged into Canvas, so, you know, you're getting your time in Canvas as well. Um, so, Melina's going, and let's say she's actually feeling good, and she's like, okay, I'm home, but I still want to work out a little bit more. I'm going to do some jumping jacks. So, she could leave this clock going, and then let's say, like, okay, remember stretching, and cooling down is still part of your workout. So let's say Milena's like, okay, I'm gonna stretch now for five minutes. So now this 25 minute walk might turn out to be more like a 50 minute workout because she did a 25 minute walk. She did 15 minutes of abs, five minutes of stretching and cooling down. Oh, I got it right, perfect, that's surprising. Okay, so that's what she's gonna do. Okay, and then I don't know if you guys know how to take snippets or screenshots of your screen, but um, there's two videos here. This one, um, I won't go over them, but this one's for Windows, and then this one is for Apple and Macs, okay? So what I would have Milena do is, you know, with her, her copy and paste tool or her snippet tool, so here for me, I have a Windows, I, I'm terrible. I, I have an Android phone, I don't have an Apple phone. So I would go to my sniping tool, Okay, and then, so this, every tool could be different. So let's just say, again, I went for my one minute and four second walk. I'm gonna take a little screenshot of this. Okay, so you guys could see that. I'm gonna save it. And then right here on my file names, I'm just gonna save it under today's date. And I'm just gonna put 822 um, walk, okay? I'm gonna save it here. Okay, and then I'm just going to close this. And what I'm thinking, you know, is 
you know, I'm asking you guys to take a screenshot, kind of like what I just did, um, to really see benefits, um, you know, develop and your guys' health improving. We do want to work out um, outside of our class. I would say somewhere between 100 to 120 minutes um, per week. So that could be, you know, maybe three to four times a week, um, 30 to 40 minutes um, each workout. Okay, and that also includes your warm up and your cool down. So you could totally do a five minute warm up, a 20 minute walk, and then a five minute cool down. And then that that could be you hit your 30 minutes there. Okay, so um, that would be a great way to knock that out. And again, um, I, I would love, I think it'd be interesting and, and fun if we can make it a little bit of a contest. Um, I don't, sometimes there's contests where they're like, walk 50 miles this week and, you know, you achieve this prize. Um, now, everyone walks or runs a little bit faster or slower than most, but, you know, time's relevant to everyone. So we're going to go with time. And, um, you know, if you guys have ideas, you guys let me know. We don't have to have a contest where, all right, everyone, you need to put in $10 at the start of the week and the person who does the most wins all the money. Like, we're not going to do any of that. Um, but again, if there's, you know, maybe we could just um, have some type of little contest. Uh, I think that'd be fun. Um, Regina, you had a question? Yes, I do. Um, I take, two, I'm taking two other classes, which I've been doing now for two years mm -hmm. already ahead of this. Well, I was taking five different classes, but they don't offer the same ones anymore. But I have two classes that I'm going to be taking besides yours. But I also have an Android phone and I don't know how I even record that kind of information on here that I take those other two classes because that would be credit for me, right? Because- Right, yeah, so that would work. Um, I don't so know yeah. how to do that. Yeah, so, uh, well, you could do it with your phone and some of you guys might take your phone on a walk. Um, so if, you know, if you don't have your laptop with you, I would say, you know, of course, if you could use these two timers and taking screenshots of either clock would be awesome. Um, and let me just I'm finish. I'm gonna be on the, I'm gonna be on this, on this, same canvas thing because it's the classes are through um through the same college so right so, so you could just take a uh oh i see yeah so what you could do is just um you know you could just if you have a timer on your phone you could start no, that timer no no all right My, the classes are the same are they, they have one's 45 minutes no mm -hmm. one hour and one's out an hour and 15 minutes and i'm not sure what the other one is Two hours, okay. I think the other one is. Okay, yeah. So there's a way to. Um, so if you have an alarm on your phone, you also have a timer on your phone. I don't. I, I don't know how to use any of that. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, if if this is too much, then you could always just you know on your system and then just kind of type in um, how many um, minutes or hours you worked out. Okay. Um, and where do I put that? So yeah. So I'm I'm getting there. Oh, I'm, I'm getting, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries um yeah sorry i know it's a lot and for some of you guys this could be like really easy and for some of you guys canvas is overwhelming just you know getting there so well, I'm, um, I'm, act, I'm active in in the physical part of it but i'm not so good in the computer part yeah I'm, yeah i'm gonna so, be no. eight years old next in, uh, in a week uh, so, <laughs> oh happy birthday so, so, so i hear you september 7th <laughs> so, a week and a half okay yeah we'll have a little party workout for you Oh, so, no, no worries, no worries. <laughs> so you guys saw me take the screenshot. So you, what you guys would do is just hit reply. Okay. And then you guys would hit reply. And then um, right here, I'm going to go to attach. And I'm just going to choose that file of the picture that I just took. So if you guys remember, I named it um, 822 walk. Did I, I think I saved it elsewhere. Let me see. Uh, snippets. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. So, 822 walk. Okay. I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to post. And then there it is. So you guys could see the, the images there. And I'm going to hit reply. And then it's saving. And then there it is. So, there's the image. Okay. So now when I click on that image, it's going to open, it's downloading, and it's showing on my end, it's showing the duration. The, can you guys see the screen with the 104? Okay. 
So, and that's how it'll, it'll be done. So um, that's pretty much it. So for this one, I know it's a lot, um, but again, let me just close this. So, so yeah, so that's gonna be our, kind of like our, our timing and adding and was it, was that too much or a lot for some of you guys? Okay. All right. If for some reason that seemed like it was way too much, okay, what we could do, I know, I, I see some faces and I'm like, oh, I don't like this. This is a lot of information. I'm sorry? Just got to practice. I'm not computer savvy like you young ones, but I'll try. <laughs> I'll get my kids to help me maybe. I have a class. So what you could do is just start this clock and just let it go. And, you know, like let's say, Sharice, you come back and it's at 108. Then you would just, you know, go here and then hit reply. And then, you know, that box is going to come out and you could just put, I walked for one minute, eight seconds. And then that's all you got to do. It's saved or it's saving. Come on, Ben. And then you'll see the reply. So that's all you could do too. If you know, it looks nice and pretty with like the image, but of course, all we're looking for is for you guys to be a little bit active outside of class, if that makes sense. So is that cool? Is that is that work better? <laughs> okay. All <Let's> right. <laughs> all right. So yeah, so that's that. Um we'll go over it more and more if you guys, you know, have a, a tough time getting through that. But you know, it's just Kind of a, a neat way to you guys um, incorporate Canvas. Use the um, timer that's in there. And I know I've mentioned before, and we'll probably introduce new topics into Canvas. Um, and one of them is, you know, that I'm really excited about because I'm about to get um, a little bit more disciplined with my eating. Is you know, we we're talking about having a discussion board on just food food recipes and sharing that with each other. Um, so you know, if you guys have ideas on you know, ideally healthier foods, but I'm sure as we approach the holidays, you know, there's going to be some tasty recipes that we'll um, add on there. So um, I know tamales are coming quickly, you know, in, in Christmas time. So I always gain my my good eight pounds from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Um, but again, that's we'll, we'll try to incorporate as we, we go along. And then we won't spend this much time going over stuff because we're going to know how to navigate through it. So Carmen, you had a question? I, <clears throat> yeah, regarding the time used uh, exercises, I normally do four to five miles at least every day. Oh, nice. But it's only walking. Now, when you want this information, do you want it? Do you want me to do all, something other than walking? No, that's that's totally fine. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to, you know, um, if you're already doing that, then that's great. I don't want you to do more because, you know, sometimes that could be too much. Um, I remember watching a show one day where this lady was walking 25 miles a day everywhere. I think it was like one of those 90 shows like, like Maury or like uh, Sally or, you know, one of those shows back in the day. And this lady was walking everywhere and then she got a personal trainer. And the trainer, she never told her personal trainer that she walked 25 miles a day. And so she had a, this trainer working her out real hard. And then she got really sick. And, you know, I think that um, happened to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I hired so, a personal trainer just to do something different than walking. Yeah. And I got really, really sick. Yes. So please communicate. Um, please let me know how you're feeling, um, you know um if you guys let's say we yeah this class is on monday but let's say on sunday you go to the hollywood sign and you go walk nine miles and then on monday morning you wake up and you're like holy cow my body hurts everything hurts then you know what you could do is still log in and you could um do the warm-up and if you want to hang out and just kind of watch people <laughs> work out, um, you could do that and then jump on, on on the cool down too. Okay, so you don't feel obligated to do everything, 
um, I guarantee you there's going to be, and this goes for everyone, um, there's going to be some movements that don't feel good. They might hurt um, when we do them. There might be a stretch that hurts. Um, I know there's movements um, that you guys could do that I might not be able to do. Like when I when we do the stretch, some of you guys know how terrible my hips are, but um, when we do this stretch here, if I if I do that long enough, my right hip will be sore for the next week. Um, so that's one that I, I don't do. Um, if there is a plank that hurts because maybe you fractured your elbow before, um, maybe when we do squats, your knees hurt. Please, um, you don't have to tell me. Um, you could just skip it. Um, but if you want to know a different way to work out that muscle group, then you could always just unmute yourself and ask. And I'll try to find an alternate for that because, again, it, it would, you know, it also would be not the best workout if you show up and then, you know, everyone's sweating and we're all exhausted and you're just there like, well, I can't do anything, okay? And I'm sure we could find something for you. Um, so just communicate. And, um, and like I said, if you're tired, we've had some people just show up for the first 20 minutes and then they head out or they can't do their recording or the, the class yet and they could do it later. And that's one thing you could do too. So like, like, let's say you had that hike on Sunday to the Hollywood sign and on Monday you're too exhausted then I'm going to put that video recording into Canvas and then maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday you could do that video. So you could always do that too. Regina? Yes. Question. Um, I do a lot of yard work. And I mean, I'm talking heavy yard work where I'm sweating. <laughs> Bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I do all my raking and I have, I have a big yard. I do okay. planting and stuff too, but I don't, the only thing I don't do is I don't do the mow and blow. I have a postage stamp in the front, everything else I do. Yeah. I have a big yard. And so I do that. Does that count in your, in that your counts. Capacity? That okay. counts. Okay. Yeah. My, one summer, my dad, you know, came home with a banana plant. Two years later, there's like 15 of them, you know, they're just mm -hmm. all through, they're huge. And then he gave me this metal sphere as a tool to knock them down and it took me all summer that summer and I just remember as like a teenager I felt really good because my back was really nice and shredded and muscular but yeah that's that's a workout yeah I mean you're out there and that um, sounds great I'm sorry what about like that a, counts. is that right yes all of that, that yeah it, my it, time. It, okay good, good. I need that too. <laughs> If you have your phone on you or something, just like to record your daily steps. I, I, can we do that? Like, like if she's doing the yard and we're running around or I'm chasing. Oh yeah. Somebody, yeah. I, I'm, then you look at your steps at the end of the day and they kind of add up with something know like that. that. I'll yeah. have my daughter teach me. So, so yeah. So if you guys logged into canvas, um, again, I encourage you guys to log into canvas and use the timer that we have on there. Mm -hmm. Just so again, so we log in, you know, our time as homework um, into Canvas as well. So if you guys could do that, um, because otherwise, you know, if you guys just use your regular watch, go for an hour walk and come back, um, Canvas is only going to almost recognize as like you just logging in for about two minutes to put in your time. Um, but if you guys use that clock within Canvas, then it, it's going to, you know, actually recognize that you were active um, for class. Um, for that duration of time. Mm -hmm. so, but I don't mind in-house, in indoor, with yeah. my iPhone fitness, mm -hmm. and that's what I follow. And yeah. it's all inside, and dance, and music, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, you'll get credit, um, you know, for the times that you use the timer within Canvas. So if you can, that'd be so awesome uh, for our program. And again, because uh, we are trying to get you guys to use Canvas a little bit more, so if they could use those um, timers, that'd be awesome. So again, you could just start it, walk away. You could go garden for an hour and a half, come back, stop. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just gardened for two hours. I tried an hour and a half and you could log that in. Okay. So, about, so how significant for you is uh, are the timers? Not for me, for you. Right. Yeah. For a class. Yeah. So yeah, if, you know, if we're in here, um, if we're not logging into Canvas very much, then, you know, then our programs, you know, don't look as active. It doesn't look like people are really uh, interacting with Canvas and our class mm -hmm. through it. So, you know, that's kind of where we 
we put ourselves at risk, okay. you know, for funding and stuff like that. So. Okay, good. that's good to know. Yep. If, if you're not home, Julio, which I, a lot of times I'm not, can we do a screenshot? Of oh, yeah. That? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That? If you're not home, yeah. Yeah. So? yeah. I don't, I don't, I also don't want you okay. to be, maybe you're in, you know, by the beach. And you're like, oh, dang it. Like, I didn't start my timer. I can't work out. Like, you know, I don't want you guys to do that. I'd be like, hold on. I need to go home first and start that clock on Canvas. And then I'm going to drive back to the beach. Like, you know, of course, like, don't do not do that either. Um, I don't want this to become this annoying thing. But, uh, but yeah, if, if you guys are starting from home, then it could be awesome. Okay. Can I talk? Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, can you give me a refresher course on, on how to get into to the timer? Yeah, so if we, and it's easy. So the hard part is logging into your Canvas, which some people have um, had an issue that with. Down. That's the only thing I have done. Okay, <laughs> so um, let me see. Yeah, and it's, it's fairly easy. Oh. What happened? I'm loving all the questions. So let me just, yeah, so um, I guess as I'm getting there, um, yes, we went to Mammoth for a week. I coached cross country and track and field at Long Beach City College. And we were up there from Monday through yesterday. And oh man, I, it was extremely fun, extremely, extremely fun. But um, it was also very tiring because I had 22, 18 to 21 year olds, um, 17 to 21 year olds, uh, pretty much um, with me on this trip. Um, my oldest athlete on the team, um, believe it or not, he's actually 61 years old and he's on my team right now. So, um, but yeah, awesome time. We went to Rainbow Falls. We went to Devil's Post Pile. Um, Debbie, it's not Yellowstone. I know I, I need to hear all about your trip. Um, but, um, yeah, we went to, um, uh, just north of Mono or just west of Mono Lake and went on some hikes out there and some runs. We went to an obsidian, obsidian dome. So a bunch of black cool rocks out there. So very, very neat. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I'm sure I'll talk about my trip <laughs> during one of our workouts. But let me share this screen. So again, to get to that timer, you guys should make it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you guys, um, this button seem like too much for you, you guys are gonna go, and I'll, I'll hit the student view so it kind of resembles what you guys are looking at. Um, can you can you show us where the timer is one more time? Yep. Let me just uh, the student view. Come on, load. All right, so student view is going to be on, there we go. How, where did you get that from? Oh, no, so th this is going to huh. um, just resemble what your page looks like. Yeah. Okay, so we're here, student view, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you guys should see that. And then you guys, if you guys go to modules here on the left-hand side, go hit modules. Sorry, my I'm in the garage, so my internet's a little bit choppy sometimes. And then again, um, if you guys go to this fitness tracking one, okay? So mm -hmm. modules. It's only the first one, right? Right, yeah. So it'll be there. Now, like I said, I'm going to hide things that, you know, shouldn't or that we've already covered. So it doesn't, um, you know, overwhelm you guys. Mm -hmm. And then, at, and like I said, fitness tracking, there's the interval timer. If you guys choose to do an interval workout, that's going to require a little bit more attention to detail, um, but the regular timer is right there. And again, you just go to start. If you want to do a lap, you can do a lap. You want to do a second lap. So, you know, and this would be like, let's say you just happen to leave your laptop in front of your house. And every time you come around your house, you hit lap. And oh, oh my God, like that, that block walk, I did 10 seconds faster or something. But that's, I, that's very unlikely. Um, so you could just use the start and stop, okay? And then you can start again, stop, start, stop. And then again, if you guys choose to put a screenshot, 
then there's these two videos that show you how to take a screenshot. And like I said, if you guys have any um, ideas and like a little contest, that'd be awesome to do. Um, and if you guys have Instagram, some of you guys may, some of you guys uh, may not, um, you guys could follow me. This is what my Instagram um, profile page looks like. And um, if you guys do, then maybe on my page, I could give you guys like a little shout out, like, hey, like, good job, Melina. You walked 45 minutes and, you know, and just give you a little shout out. So it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, so that's how you get there. So just a couple um, buttons. So any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Hmm. Is it possible to create a shortcut where the modules are for the fitness tracker so we can just click on it any time? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I could actually put that on the very front page if you guys um, want to do that. Um, I just had it on the discussion because that's where you would log it in. So, um, but yeah, so that would be an easier way if you just want to like see it at the bottom of the Zoom link or recording. Um, we could do that too. Um, you just have to remember to go and navigate to the discussion, and um, so you guys could input your time. But yeah, that's that's actually a yeah, that's that's better than my idea. I like that. So, yep. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Any other questions? Um, question. Yep. Do you do you have in plan to have like a meet with all, all of us or whoever want to go and go like in the um my the mile park so i have a nice walk so i haven't so we technically won't be meeting live in person what because, i could i'm sorry because oh it's just the, the way the class is set up yeah oh, so we okay. have two hours through canvas and then everything else is going to be um you know kind of like homework what I could um, recommend, and Rebecca, um, if you're there, maybe you could uh, correct me or, you know, say, no, that's not possible or yes, it is. But um, I also coach cross country, like I mentioned, and some mm -hmm. of our runs, sometimes we meet on Saturdays, we'll be meeting at different locations. Um, we meet at Carbon Canyon, we met at Irvine Regional Park, we met at Crystal Cove, we met at Palos Verdes, like you know, we're in Long Beach, so we meet it everywhere. So, um, you know, if if it's okay, Rebecca, again, um, you could tell me when I meet with those students, maybe I could tell you guys like, hey, I'm going to be here with my team. If you guys want to join this Saturday, I'll be there and you could go on your walk while my kids go on their run. And then, you know, maybe we could do that. And I'll be there with a group of about 25 athletes. I don't know if that's okay or possible, Rebecca. We don't need to follow you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are there, okay. Yeah, yeah I think um, that's okay. I, <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, so Rebecca Can says that. email? Yeah, so I could, <laughs> yeah, and that'd be awesome because I, I've met some of you guys. I met Debbie and Cherise uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, and yeah, it'd be nice to see you guys in person. Um, but like I said, as, as far as the amount of time that we have together, it's just going to be through this live Zoom class. So I believe like this Saturday, I don't know. And again, all, everyone lives in different places. I know I've had someone live in San Francisco, someone in the um, Ventura area. But I think most of us are close to Orange County. Um, this Saturday, I think my group is going to be meeting at... Um, Craig Regional Park, which is by Fullerton, like Buena Park area, um, like off Beach Boulevard, and I think it's La Habra, or like off Beach in Imperial, around that area. But if anyone is interested, yeah, and Rebecca says it's okay, um, you know, and maybe sometimes all you need is a group of people to be there to work out with or to walk with, you know. It's very discouraging sometimes to just get up early in the morning and put your shoes on and go run. But if you know other people are going to be there doing it with you, it's so much easier. So, yeah. so yeah. So um, I think, you know, Rebecca just gave me the state okay. College. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, that's, that's on state college, Craig regional park. Craig. Oh, oh. okay. I meant Ralph B. Clark. Yeah. So R Craig regional is by the 57, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Ralph B. Clark would be, uh, I think it's Rosecrans and, um, beach somewhere along there but um again i'll i'll confirm with you guys when i don't want to tell you guys hey we're meeting there and then we actually change practice and you show up and no one's there um so again um my kids will probably go somewhere 
you know, I call them my kids, even though they're my athletes, but they'll go somewhere between, you know, maybe eight to 16 miles sometimes. They'll run that. But then um, if you guys meet there, maybe you guys could go for like, all right, let's find on going on a mile walk around this trail. Um, yeah, so, turn around. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we could do that. And then, um, you know, it could be one of those things where, you know, we just go back home. We log into Canvas and then the discussion was like, hey, I was at the run. And um, yeah, sure. It might not count it because of like the timer. But uh, maybe at a different time, you could just simulate that. If you walk for an hour, then just start the timer later that day for an hour and stop it. And, you know, just it will kind of catch up. But but yeah, I think that could be a really cool, cool way to, you know, kind of meet you guys. Um, I think if we planned it, we're like, hey, let's meet every Sunday at this time at this park. Um, we might just have one or two people show up. But if you guys, um, you know, and there's going to be some days where we have away meets, like we have a race in um, Fresno on a Saturday, and then another race in the practice that we have. Like, hey, we're going to meet at El Dorado Park off the 605 freeway at 7 a.m. If you want to be there, I'll be there. And, you know, so like I said, sometimes you just need other people there. And, um, and if, yeah, if we get a good group, that'd be pretty awesome, I think. So. Where are you located? So I'm in Lakewood. Um, the college I work at with the athletes is in Long Beach, but we, we practice in Brea and Fullerton and Irvine. Um, so yeah, so it just depends. So I think it, it'd be possible maybe like every other week we could maybe set something up where we meet up and who knows, like if people have time, maybe we could go grab breakfast together or something. So well, would it be good if we send you our location and then you can plan something uh, it, 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 it's tricky because I usually plan the the routes based on on what race we have upcoming. So oh, what you need. yeah, oh, yeah. With the Go team. Ahead. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, like if we we have a race where there's gonna be a lot of hills, like we have this race in October that it's so silly. Um, it's gonna be in Palos Verdes, and it's oh, uh God. one mile right. loop, but it's very <laughs> very steep. So this season we have to practice a lot running in the hills. Um, Thank so, you. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're like, all right, bye. I'm not going there. So, um, but then there's gonna be some races where it could be flat, and we might just go, you know, around Mile Square Park or something. We had a race there um, last November, and we we met up there for a practice. So yeah, it just it depends. So yeah, I do apologize for that, uh, Regina. I live in Pasadena, so I won't be coming to those things. But anyway, <laughs> I think we've done a, a run in Eden Canyon once. So, so yeah, so it, like I say, it just depends. Yeah, well, um, okay, I'm not much of a runner either. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I'm but I there, and I but I, my work goes in the yard. I use yeah. energy, so it makes something beautiful. So, so yeah, you. I can even put a picture on for you. I guess one day, show you a picture. There you go, Rebecca. Okay. All right. Thank I, you. Um, I know you have your you have a meeting like in five uh, minutes. I don't want to take up. But oh. um, I just wanted to ask you if you had any like recommendations because like I could run like my like my cardio is okay, but my um my like shins my shins like will start bothering me. And is it just because I haven't run in a long time? Or so you, yeah. So usually shin splints. Um, my my coach in high school would find out quickly because. Yeah, like you said, if you don't run often or consistently, it usually happens. Um, after Thanksgiving, um, we wouldn't meet for practice until mid-January. Mm -hmm. So when we didn't meet for practice, we we're still um, kind of told to run during that time. Some kids wouldn't run. And when we would come back in January, my coach would be like, all right, let's go run six or eight miles. And then the few kids that weren't running during that time would be like, oh, my shins hurt, you know. Yeah. And it's usually because of that. Um it could be maybe you're running too much too quickly. Maybe like right now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if I feel my shins hurting because like I told you guys, I went 7, 20, 38. And today might be, or this week might be like five because my shins might be hurting. Um, it could be progressing too quickly. Um, sometimes the most common one is running shoes are too old. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I know I, when I worked that, maybe you guys have heard of the store Snail's Pace. 
There's a few of them in Orange County. Um, but I worked there for several years. And shoes are like tires on our car. So a tire, you know, tires on a car are made to last 50 to 60,000 miles. Shoes are made to last anywhere between 300 to 500 miles. Um, now, oh. you could be like, oh, that's a lot, you know. But let's say you run, I don't know, let's say you go for three miles three times a week, right? That's nine miles. Let's just round up 10 miles. So you run 10 miles each week. In a year, that's 520 miles, right? So every year you would have to replace those shoes. I've seen some people have a pair of shoes for eight or nine years, oh okay? My. So <laughs> when that happens, you are asking for an injury at that point. Um, when I was in college, we were running some summers 80 to 90 miles a week. I was replacing my shoes about every month and a half or two months. Um, oh now God. let's say Regina uses her shoes to go on her walks and she uses them to go gardening, and she uses them to go play tennis, those shoes are gonna get worn out so much quicker because they're not meant to be used for other things, okay? So typically you wanna use- different shoes. I have different shoes for everything. Perfect, <laughs> yes, good. And sometimes, um, like I said, there's that range of 300 to 500 miles. Um, sometimes what happens is if you have two pairs of shoes and on Monday you use one pair, Tuesday you use the other, shoes have a foam in them and if you just keep using them that foam doesn't expand like it's supposed to so if you just use that one shoe for everything then you're probably only going to get 300 350 miles out of it now if you let that shoe rest and expand um you know then it's going to last a little bit longer um i sweat a lot so when you sweat you know there's salt in that sweat and that could and you know it dries up a lot of running shoes have mesh, that really nice soft material. That salt gets on that in that mesh and it calcifies it, so it makes it stiff. So if you feel like sometimes that mesh tears up or makes holes real quickly, it could be because there's salt in there and you know it's a little bit hardened. So when it's rubbing, it's gonna um, break that material apart. So sometimes what I would do, especially if I had two pairs of shoes and I sweat a lot, um, I would just take my water hose and soak the I got some friends that have bunions that tear up the, the shoes or, or the side of the, the mesh. Um, so those are nice little habits to practice. But yeah, so don't, please don't, even if you go for a 30 minute walk several times a day, I would replace your shoes at least once a year. Um, you might, if you walk more often, maybe Carmen, you might have to replace yours more often. Um, I do and, it barefoot. Oh, okay. There you, yeah, you can't replace your, you can't replace your feet. So <laughs> there you go. And I uh, feel fine. I, I have one more question. Yep. And I, sorry. Um, I have one of those machines that vibrates. So you're, you're, it's working your, it was working your body. It's very mm -hmm. good for you. Does yeah. That count too? No. No, that, that doesn't. Right so, right yeah. So no, I. I, I, I you do weight. I do. You know, I do my, my arm weights when I do it. It's good for yeah. your brain. It's good yeah. for your brain. So, so yeah, the arm weights would work. Um, I know exactly what machine you're talking about because my dad was diabetic and he um needed that blood flow. Um, I I would use that for a warm up because it does um promote blood flow to those um distant limbs. Um, mm -hmm. But as a workout, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't count that. Um, no, but I, I can't count that as any of my time then. Um, I mean, that could that counts as therapy, so that could count as like stretching. Um, mm -hmm. But but I don't want you to feel like, well, I did all the the oh, hundred and twenty no, minutes. I don't, do and, that, I don't yeah. do that long anyway. So, but yeah, but I used um, to use it every day, and I I'm telling you, my muscles really toned up on it. Oh, there you go. Very much so, because I, right. have the stand, I have the big stand on one. It takes up half the room. All right, cheat sheet for everyone. There you go. Go get one. Bye. You have All right, to. ladies. Yeah, Regina, I, I know you're going to be a lot of fun in this class. Um, <laughs> ladies, let's, um, uh, if you guys have more questions and you happen not to be enrolled in Wednesday's class, you could just log in. Um, if you can um, and wish to join those classes, then I encourage you to enroll in those. Like I said, the this might be the one week where I might send a Zoom link, um, but I do want you guys to go through Canvas so you guys could log in your hours. Um, I do apologize, um, you know, on today's um, short um, class, but.
but um, like I said, this might be like a one once a month thing. So I'll let you guys know ahead of time. Rebecca, your, meet, your meeting starting. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I could show up a little like a minute or two late. So. But Hulu, I have one more, just one more thing. So, so I, so like when I have the shin splints, can I run with them or should I not run with it? So shin splints, usually uh, I'll try to demonstrate. So if your calves are tight, your calves attach right here mm -hmm. and that's probably where you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. Or, and also back here. So when your calves are really tight, what happens, it starts kind of separating from that tibia a little bit. So there's oh. micro tears. Okay. So there's micro tears. Um, so what I would say is stretch your calves okay. from now on until even when they stop hurting, continue to stretch them. Um, if you happen to have access to compression sleeves, um, get some of those too. Sometimes I think diabetic socks might not be enough. So you might need some compression sleeves. Um, but I'd say keep your art, your arches flexible. So also, because your art, if your arches are tight, they're going to pull on your Achilles, which is going to pull on your calf. So what I would suggest is getting a golf ball and just rubbing your foot on top of it while pressing down. Um, that's good therapy for your arches. But yeah, just just stretch your calves. And, you know, you could do the stretch up against the wall where you have your foot angled. You could do figure four where you're reaching. Um, when I have calf, um, tight calves, before I get out of bed, what I do, I'm laying in bed and I just kind of like pump the gas. Um, and I do that maybe, you know, now as I'm aging and I'm getting older, I try to do that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? I want to hear that one. <laughs> uh, so, but now I do that maybe, no joke, I probably did about five to 10 minutes every morning. So yeah, so minutes. before I even get out of bed. So I wake up and yeah, sure, I might have my phone near me. So I just check my emails. And as I'm checking my emails, I just pump my feet. And that's a good way to stretch your calves. Because sometimes if I forget to do that, or if I wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, there's those steps to go to the restroom. I'm just like, oh, gosh. I'm going to yeah. do that because they're, they're always tight. Even when I don't exercise, they're like. Terrible calves and a terrible right hamstring. So it, it's just the way I'm built. And then what you could do too, after you, if it's really bad, what you could have is a an old t-shirt, a longer towel, or maybe even a tube sock and put that around that top part and then pull and push. Okay, so you could really stretch that out. So, but um, I'll see you ladies, um, you know, on Wednesday or if not next week. And then if anyone has issues, again, I know some. Support for that, um, give that a, a shot, because, again, um, there's not much that I could do. Um, Rebecca's in, in my department as well, and she, and she could confirm that, that, you know, on our end, as yeah. far as helping you logging into Canvas, there's very little that we could do. It's going to be support. Um, so, um, but yeah, so you guys have that information. So, you know, campus is open right now. So if you guys could give them a call or an email, um, you know, hopefully they could solve that briefly. So. Question, the Wednesday at 10 o'clock is the same access or? No, it's going to, I'll send a different code, um, but I'll send an email. You guys have Monday and Wednesday class, have the same email, uh, same email group. So, you know, sometimes you guys might hear something for them. Um, that you'll receive, um, but it's only two classes, and and then yeah, you'll you'll start seeing less emails, um, and then because everything's going to be through Canvas eventually. But do I have to guys, register for that one for the yeah, Wednesday one? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So for this Wednesday, you'll get the link. You'll have access to it. You could check it out. Um, if we have many more students, then we might go through something similar to today. But I'm hoping that most of most of them are taking both classes. Um, and then Wednesday class is more stretching. So I would say um, that's one of those classes where, um, you know, if you just want to stretch and relax a little bit more, that's more for that. So, and then after that, those, um, I won't be sending Zoom links. Everything would be in through Canvas. All right. I'm going to let you guys know before I, I get yelled at. Uh, so, all right, ladies. I'll see you guys. Nice seeing everyone. Nice meeting you all. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Ella. Bye, ladies. Bye, Linda. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
Bye, bye. Bye, Debbie. Bye.